a good day to be in Tailua. The beach here is so beautiful. It's hard to not repeat like superlatives or whatever that word is about just how amazing the scenery is here in Savai'i. As well as, I mean, all of Samoa, but specifically Savai'i. There's a fine line in Savai'i between being a developed land and a pristine land, untouched land, if you will. Savai'i really straddles that line very well because they do have some resorts that are very nice that are comparable to resorts in any other place. Um, but then they also have places like this, like this beach folly here. The beach folly just has exactly like what you need and not anything more. So what you're given here is just a slight accommodation, a shelter over your head, and offers you vista views like that of the entire ocean. Very incredible. So um, time to take a shower. Get ready for the day. Humble accommodations. Well, that was refreshing. It was really cold, as you can imagine. I don't have a towel, so I used a t-shirt. Hashtag make do with what you have. <laughs> but it was an awesome cold shower because yesterday was a very hot and sweaty day. A lot of the time that you spend making videos is not actually the filming part. The filming part is quote unquote, the easy part. And the filming part's not easy because you always have to try and find something that's entertaining, not only to you, but something that you think would be entertaining entertaining for the people who are watching because you know not everyday life is that exciting but it's the small snippets of exciting things that um, that make it a video engaging and make people want to watch that video and we don't want to bore you the way we look at it is that Jamily TV is an opportunity for you guys to be entertained because you know you feel like you're part of our family and and we feel like you're part of our family and we want you to feel like you're here with us enjoying this adventure with us that's what we're hoping we're doing for you so hopefully that is coming across but what I was trying to say is that the filming part is the easy part and the filming part is not easy but it's the easier part I should say then comes the editing part and even the small ends what you would feel like is such a simple act in today's life of transferring data from a memory card over to um, over to your computer so that you can edit it, you would think that that would be kind of relatively fast, right? Basically, you'd put it in there and boom, it's done. But no, it's not. So yesterday, I filmed 26 gigs of information and I'm sitting here and I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes and I'm 25% done. It's just to get the drone footage. And then I gotta get the footage off of this camera. And this camera is our main camera, so obviously it has more footage. I know for a fact it's gonna be about 50 gigs. It's gonna take like an hour and a half to download all of the footage before we can even edit. You have to find time in the spaces of life so that you can accomplish good things. I could have a worse office though, couldn't I? <laughs> Okay, so I'm at the beautiful Amoa Resort. At the Amoa Resort, they have this rock outcropping that they've built into the ocean so that you can jump off of this massive deck on top of the rock outcropping um, into the beautiful ocean. This is so gorgeous and the day has turned out incredibly well. I'm here to help for the Savai Samoa Tourism Association, so no jumping off the deck for me today. Check this out. <laughs>
or something. I was the first in line. I actually had to wait for them to set up their booth or whatever while he was talking to me and writing my receipt that a big old line form. He said I take the car to the back of the terminal. I don't know what that means but I saw I think where people were going the other day so I'm gonna try and go that place. I think maybe this is it. We'll see. Hi. Do I keep going? Oh. Hi. How are you? Good. you? Doing pretty well, thank you. Yeah. Do I just one. drive up there? Yeah, from the lane one. Is that that one? Yeah, this one. That I'm in? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank thank you. you. I think I'm in the right lane. He said lane one. Here's a lane next to me. Three others the other way, but he pointed at this one and there's no numbers on any of them, so I don't know. This place never ceases to amaze me how absolutely beautiful it is. Everywhere you look. talking to a girl. She had a huge backpack. She was from Canada but lived in Australia for the last year and then moved to Queenstown for a little bit. She is traveling through Samoa and she already went to Fiji and she's going to Hawaii and so pretty cool. She's traveling all by herself which is brave but I took too long to get to my car so they all line up on the stairs which are the stairs to get off the boat walking but also to get down to the cars. So I had to like inch my way through a huge line of people. They weren't happy with me, I'm sure. Sorry people, but I made it to my car. I'm one of the first cars in line, so it shouldn't take me too long to get off. All that I see is a lame temptation stapled on the road to green. drive I'm heading to meet Joe at the Beach Follies that we're staying at and I'm assuming all of these decorations are for the Miss Samoa pageant but it's so pretty the whole drive has had these like bamboo poles up 
every few feet with streamers, banners, little like flags, coconuts, all kinds of things. But I think it's, I'm guessing it's for the Miss Samoa pageant, but it makes me feel very special because there's like no other cars on the road and people are putting this up. So it feels like it's all for me. <laughs> Abandon all your childhood dreams In a sense ago you said you'd never Change the way you spend your days But there are ways And all you need is the one sensation Coconut head. Coconut head. Yeah.